Right, let's slaughter this fool. Now, because, you know why I'm over here? Because, if you see those sand people bags over there, that means <gasps> hidden cash time! Let's take Beodor, because he's, he's he's basically, he's like uh, T3 in the first game. Well, T3 in this game too, but he's a skill whore. He, uh, he knows all the skills that kills. By skills that kills, I mean he knows like demolitions and computers and stuff. I know him about as good as he does, but uh, he's just a little better. He didn't cash it. Yeah, 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 I know, you mentioned him. Grey Jai Rogue Disruptor Carbine! That's not cool. Yeah, what is with all the Zerka defensive gauntlets? Jeez. One defense? God. Okay. So, the the armor and everything upgrade system in this game is really cool because heavy armor in the first game, basically you never had a dexterity bonus, which was actually kind of which actually kind of sucked because everyone who wore heavy armor in the first game was a guy who used a gun. No one used melee and a freaking uh, heavy armor. So, what what heavier armor does is have lower max dex bonuses, which basically means for all of you super RPG nerds out there, you already know what it means. Oh yeah, that's the actual, that's the uh, combat ready animation. Like, see, you load the gun up or... Broop, that's really cool. Um, oh god, there's a million mines here, which Looks sucks. like a minefield up ahead. We can try... All right, so there's really no good way to do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take control of Beodor. We don't have any, st well, we don't have any stealth belts with us. So you know what? We're screwed. So we're just gonna charge and let Beodor run into all the mines because like, like a. F oh wait, no, I can just blow up the mines. Oh god, that's so awesome that I can do that. No, I didn't mean to. Shit. Why can't I target the mine? No. Mmm. No, do it! Beodor, you... Oh, you idiot. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Just kill him. Yeah, Beodor's gonna get beat up. Who cares? He always gets beat up. He's not a great combat guy. I... Once I leave Telos... Oh, that probably hurt him. Once I leave Telos, I never use Beodor ever again. Beodor, you... You are why I carry medpacks, Beodor. One more. Good. All right, let's go. Zerka excavation site. Even though it used to be a Thorian, apparently it's now completely Zerkified. Zerkified. Yep, there's another friggin' droid. So droid ahead. And that means more mercenaries. I don't know about you guys, but I just we're close to the compound. I think we're close to the compound too. That means this entire plate. What? Well, that was new. That was all new dialogue. All new. Never saw it before. Uh, but I don't know why he sat and said, I think we're close to compound too. Beodor is not the only one who thinks we're close to compound. I think so too. Hmm. So this is an annoying fight. He has mines here. Can I? So my droid, my turrets failed, but my droids will never fail. No, cancel combat. Give me the mine. Give me the mine. Ugh! Whatever. Vader's just gonna have to- OH! I don't know why it selected right there, but whatever, it worked. Oh, I just saved a lot. Uh-oh, she's throwing grenades. Yeah, she's a grenade. If you actually- if you look at her name when I, uh... That's gonna be painful. She just won't let at- let- Stop throwing the- oh, now she's- Well, that was a concussion grenade. That's a plasma. Ow. See, look. Mercenary- oh, droid master. I forgot. I thought it was going here. Whoops. Droid Master does make a little more sense, don't it? So she had a good shield, but now she's now it's gone and she's fucked. She be screwed, she be screwed, she be screwed. Yep, she's down for the count. Goodbye, bitch. Stupid bitch. Give me some drops. Now I'm gonna quick save because this fight up ahead is a little bit tough. Ooh, not a life support. No way. I'm not wasting a life support on this dumbass. <laughs> See, you go around this corner here. This guy's kind of a bitch. There's the landing pad. There should be. A Looks like we're gonna. Why do you say that? 
Why do you happen. say we're gonna have to fight? This guy's right here. Saves us the trouble of looking for you. Corin Fault did say you were dangerous. Who are you? We'll see. Attack. You just caught some of my guys off guard. Hey, you guys aren't so tough. We'll take care of you. You guys don't look so good to me. Oh god. So he's got a disruptor rifle. Now I remember the first time when I was playing this game. When I saw this guy drop a disrupt this guy dropped a disruptor rifle and I looted it and I was like, oh, this is so awesome! Because now I have an upgradable dis why is he running at me with fists? I like how Bayo I actually thought Bayodor was one of them, because they're all they're all wearing light battle armor. This is really funny. But the fact that you can that you have heavy armors in this game, and there's a there's an upgrade that gives max dex bonus. Oh yeah, that's what I that's another thing I was talking about that I completely stopped. Oh disruptor rifle! So cool. No, Bayodor! Oh my god, you're stupid. Please don't. Don't, 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 don't. God, ba no, Beodor, look what you. Ugh. Now all the freaking and this guy up here. I'm running out of here. Fuck this noise. Yeah, my hand can deflect. Look at all these bolts that should be hitting me. Atten's just gonna keep on. So what you have to do to get Atten to spawn is you have to run. So Atten's gonna go down in a sec. You just have to keep being in combat, because if I leave combat, Atten won't get up. I don't think. I'm gonna run away, I'm too hurt. Fuck him. Okay, so apparently this one asshole is determined to freaking chase me. Oh, Atten got back up, cool. Of course he rolled his save. Ah, but anyway, armor. So, when, when the game computes your armor bonus... Uh, it basically its system is that you have a number of factors, one of which is your max deck is your defense bonus, and another of which is your dex bonus. Because dex dex basically means the same thing as armor. So when you when you wear heavy armor, it means that you're not as mobile, and your dexterity goes down. But in this game, there are armor upgrades for heavy armor specifically that allow you to have to increase the dex bonus of heavy armor. That is so cool because it means that guys with guns can have super high defense bo uh, can have super high AC armor, which is armor class values, which basically determines how tough they are. They can have super high values because they can use their dex bonus fully and they can use the, the defense bonus of heavy armor. I wouldn't be surprised if at some point I even started using heavy armor, if I have the feats for it. I probably don't. But, hey, I can wear light armor with some really high defense bonuses. And then, as soon as I can, and then I can, I'll probably end up giving Atten heavy armor. Beodor actually, for some reason in this game, Beodor can only wear medium armor. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. Um, Beodor can only wear medium armor, so he's kind of screwed out of that. Although there are some upgrades that only apply to medium armor as well. So let's get this cylinder. God, so we killed everybody already. Spacer, sensor, whatever that shit means. Hey, some remains. Adrenal alacrity. whoop de fucking do Oh, it's Christmas. So you can't go into any of these buildings at all. Don't even bother. That's a... Yep. So you see that little belt? Powered battle armor. That's mi that's uh, medium armor, Mandalorian heavy armor. Holy shit! Let's see something. Yeah, yeah. Battle armor and powered battle armor are all heavy, uh, so he can't wear them. What about Atten? Yeah, he's only got medium right now too. But he can go up to heavy, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna keep healing because I'm I i do not have that much left now. Yeah, I don't have any force left. So let's go over here and do this little chat scene. Chat scene, cutscene thing. Hopefully I'll be able to act Access the shield network. Bop 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 bop. Oh, it's functional. My Wasn't it actually what makes you TSF probably thinks the ship was put down in the wastes. Telos's atmosphere has been turned into acidic vapor. Landing a ship in the wastes would be like sealing it in a hangar full of hungry miners. 
I yeah. say there's probably an illegal landing site somewhere. So that means there's probably an unsanctioned. Why are they? Di See, this dialogue's kind of fucked up. It actually kind of makes sense they cut it. Well, although this was not cut, so yeah. So look, here's what he finds. Here, a small anomaly in the Shield Network's power grid. I'm not surprised the TSF didn't spot. What is it? It looks like power is being drawn to generate a shield over a small area in the polar region, but nothing should be down there. Orbital camera show nothing. That's a little tougher. According to the, at least there was a. I don't. That's decided. There's one other, but it's not as though. All right, so there's a base right over there that we were near. Apparently, Zerka teams have been going into this base and not coming out, but there should be a shuttle in there that can take us to the polar region of the planet, where hopefully we will find the Ebon Hall. Because it, because according to Beodor, power is being siphoned from the grid, from the power grid of all the shields and everything, to create a small shield over the polar region. Though how he knows where the shield is, I don't know, because the only thing he said was that the power is being siphoned. Why would the t how would the TSF not know if he can actually figure out where the ship power is being siphoned to? I have no idea. So let's get going. So this part kind of sucks. So basically, these grates in the middle of the floor. Theodor might run across it. They're actually poison gas vents that I can't shut off for a minute. So Theodor. Some of mine isn't just for show, General. Stand back. See, I just did it. He's like. Poison. See. At and fucking activate the poison, so he can punch these things with his the shield arm. Mercenaries were a little surprised when I broke my way out of my holding cell. His lips the aren't shields moving. There were he after he so Beodor can I smash through shields, and of course I don't have heal yet to get rid of poison. So it's almost so you have to get to that console if you want to. I'll show you. So Beodor is going to get poison too, but now we should be good on poison. I just pray that I have enough computer spikes. Wow, these things are really hurting the shit out of me. Good thing they're weak as fuck. Oh man, I'm... Oh wow. Am I brain dead or what? I forgot these things reactivate. Which is kind of bullshitty. So, I'm gonna go into solo mode, because I don't want these two retards following me. So you run over here and go to this terminal. Slice in. Deactivate local turrets. Download the facility map. Shit. I don't know why I can't shut down the... Oh, right. I thought the poison was here. Yeah, just reactivate the poison. It doesn't do anything. Wow, Matuaku Adept Robe. Are you kidding? See, look at this. Oh, great. At and you moron. Oh, shut off solo mode. Get over here. Why is the cursor... Okay, sometimes the cursor does this. I've had this happen before. Don't ask me why. Great, more poison. At least we're out of the freaking poison area. But I don't know why I can't shut the poison off. It might be because I accidentally... I must have accidentally put my mouse outside of the cursor, the game area. It doesn't mean anything. It's not like the game's about to crash or anything. It's just the cursor gets fucked up. The game doesn't like when you go outside the window. That's really all it is. So there's more of these huge ass Tilo's military droids for some reason. Who knows where the fuck these are? Well, that effect was broken. He tried to do. He just did a neural disruptor on me. The little beam thing that T3 does. Some, it's a droid attachment. Although I didn't see the beam, I just saw the effect when it hits me. It's kind of weird. Administrative ID card. That's just for hacking into the computer. Bondino, a heavy suit, Durasteel underlay. That actually is an upgrade for light and medium armor, I think, to give it more defense. So you can basically create super armor in this game. Whether it be wearing light, medium, or heavy armor, you can turn it into super badass armor. I don't know why I can't shut off the poison. Oh, right, I remember where you have to be. So I'm just gonna run out here and grab this before the... Nice. Really, it was just some freaking components. So, of course, everyone's running real saves on me. Now the beam worked. See, now it's working. I don't know why that, I, maybe I missed it, but I thought that beam didn't show up a minute ago. Okay, 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 okay. So let's just kill these droids. Come on, Beodor, wake up, you moron. There you go. Alright, so this is some old Telos military base that survived the bombardment of the planet from the, uh, 
The first conflict. What's going on? See, look at that. When I get to the edge, see, look at now. Look, see, it just doesn't like being on the edge of the screen. That's really messed up looking. At least it's kind of closer to what it was to what it's supposed to be. Can I like fix it? No, eh, no I can't fix it. Whatever. It's because I have two monitors. It doesn't like me. It doesn't like me. So Beodor's gonna run in and activate the four turrets and two droids that are in this room. And Atten decided to run in too, because he's, you know, almost as brain dead as Beodor is. So I'm gonna be smart and stay back, so Beodor's about to die. Then Atten's gonna die a minute later. No way! Huh. So, Atten's. Oh, Beodor's still not dead? Wow, I am shocked. Oh, wow, I can't be- Wow, and he didn't even activate the poison. I am kind of surprised at Beodor's shocking amount of intelligence right here. There he goes. So this is why Beodor's like, you need him here, and then I never use him again. He's just weak. He's just not a very good party member. Come on. This room is really cool because there's a lab station and a workbench here. And of course. Stop standing on it, you're probably gonna turn it on again. I'm just gonna keep healing. Heal! Alright, so let me look at the skills. My computer use is 25, Beodor's is 22. So I'm actually better than Beodor, so I'm gonna go to the workbench. Let's see what I can build. Create a breakdown. So let's look at armor. Well, that's pretty cool. Dex plus one, reflex assist. Mm. See, the heat thing is useless. Dex minus one, that sucks. I don't want that. Defense bonus two. I don't, I'm not wearing medium or heavy armor, but they both are. Heavy bonded plates, dex minus three. <laughs> so one trick you can do is you can... Wow, I have... Jeez. So, see, I can't build the flexible thing because that's stealth, which sucks because almost no one learns stealth. But that thing is really good. Ugh. Durasteel, I do Oh, that's defense. That's uh, melee defense. Strength thing on the gives constant strength, which is cool. But no one... That's a Beodor thing, maybe. Uh, but that's really good. Immunity to energy. But the... But the see, the biorestorative. See, the problem is I don't really have any components. I might do this all off-camera. Like, when I'm not recording, just go through and have fun and just... Upgrade all my weapon, my items and stuff, because it's really... See, look, I can already build tons of crazy... Upgrades for my lightsabers. You can really make lightsabers super badass in this game. It's awesome. See, I can't build any scopes because I don't have any awareness skill. It's just awful. But anyway, you know what? Let's just keep going. I don't desperately need to upgrade my weapons yet. I'm not at that point in the game where it's really helpful. Like, maybe after this recording session, I'll just sit down at a workbench. One orbital, that's all. The hangar bay doors are closed. I don't... We'll also need to find the... If we... So the shuttle runs, but we need to find the ignition codes. Oh, look at this. So, yeah, this droid's been deactivated. There's nothing you can do. You can't repair it or anything, which kind of sucks and is stupid. Doesn't know a hyperdriver could get us out of here. Well, step away. I didn't mean to use it yet. So we need to, we need to open the hangar doors, and we need to find the shuttle codes. So here's actually what I'm going to do. Let's go. Because there's a slim path here. See, there's the console where I can shut off the poison. I don't know why I thought the first terminal did, because it doesn't. Let's go. No, I need Atten. Mm, nice. Let's go. Smash this. Let me handle the. Turn off solo mode, because there's no poison in here. Security control. Turn off the security gas vents. Thank fucking god. Loot, loot, loot. Always must loot. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I can pick this shit. See now, so here's bay control. Unlock the hangar. So you can... Oh, I accidentally didn't. You can, you can try to unlock the hangar doors, but the reactor is offline. So we have to turn the reactor on. 
so that we can power the doors and open this shit up. There, of course, is more droids. More Telos military droids that look like every other droid in the galaxy. They even look like a prototype- oh, uh, never mind, I don't wanna- It's kind of a spoiler for later in the first game, and since as of this recording, my first- the first Kotro Let's Play is just releasing. And this is only gonna be like a few episodes behind it, yeah. I don't want to spoil anything from late game Kotro 1. You know, it's not really a spoiler. But it's just really weird to think about. Like, I'm releasing... I'm doing this after I played Kotor 1, but these games, the Let's Plays, are both releasing at the same time. Although, anyone who's watching this after they've both finished, that doesn't mean anything. So there's this guy standing here, but there's more droids. Oh, there's only one droid, I guess. I thought there were, like, three here. Weird. Oh, they're behind the shield. Can they turn off the shield? I guess not. Good. So there's a Zerg to salvage crew guy. No, I'm not. Great. So you can say follow me out, or you can just say, or you can do a dark side thing, where you just try to fucking kill him. Let's just use a sonic mine on the lock. I don't know why you can't bash the damage right locks, here. but this doesn't hurt you. But now it's open. This doesn't count as bashing, by the way. So I can say fo follow me out. Are we almost out? What was that? Uh, I'll run him out, but afterward. So he'll actually join me in the fighting. And if he dies, then I can loot him. And if not, he gives me a reward. It really doesn't matter to me. So let's see what he's going to do. Is he going to fight? Or is anyone going to fight? He doesn't count as a target at, for the droids. I guess. That's kind of helpful. I'm just gaining levels like crazy. Then again, the level max is 20. Uh, I have enough intelligence. I don't really need strength. I'm going to go for charisma. Let's keep getting awareness. Actually, I should get a stealth skill. Because, like I said earlier, the only way to have a skill apply, like, the only way to have any bonuses that I might have... Resilience? Lightsaber? Why am I getting lightsaber forms? It's odd. Uh, I need heal more than I need blaster redirection. Which is basically, then, I, now with my hands, like, with lightsaber, I can redirect, bla redirect blasters back at my enemies. I'm gonna give Atten some wisdom, make him a wise man. And you need to be a wiser man. No loot, of course. Oh, this room's annoying. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Now, now that I have master rapid shot, I can shoot the shit out of these guys. I'm getting hit a lot. So he's gonna die in a sec. Ow. Hey, I don't like being hit with flame, jack off. Jack off? Jackass? Wow. Check. So there's... Ugh, this is annoying. So look. There's a million droids in there. Bam. Overload the charging stations. They all die. Makes your life infinitely easier. So you can't open this door. Maybe controlled by a nearby terminal. It's not controlled by a nearby terminal, actually. That's a dirty Y. Or at least you can't use it right now. Let's put it that What's way. Going on? I don't remember exactly. <laughs> I don't think it is. Apparently you can use mines on door on these force fields, but any force fields you run into later in the game, you can honestly just shoot open. Beodor just has the magical ability to one hit them with his arm, but you, to be perfectly honest, you don't actually need that. So you'll notice there's a door here, military base sub level, locked, cannot be opened at this time. Great. Hopefully, if everything is correct with this uh, res restoration mod, you guys. Damage HK protocol droid. What the fuck this is he doing? Has been damaged and does not appear to be Activate the droid. Program it to follow you. Leave it alone. Why is there an HK50 damaged model here? Although why it doesn't say damage HK50 instead of damage HK protocol droid? I'm pretty sure my guy should know by now that they're not protocol droids. I'm pretty sure. I mean, Atten should be like, hey, whoa, 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 we fought one of these, whoa. So then you just run. You do, if you play this on the Xbox or unmodded, you have no idea why that happened or why that was there. 
But if you play the mod that I'm really hoping, I think is supposed to be included in the restoration mod. One of the greatest mods I ever played for this game before the restoration mod released. Um, see, look, I can bash it myself. The code or can just run over and one hit it. That's really the only reason it's useful to have him. So these turrets are deactivated right now. Let's go. Though, of course, since they're here, you know they're going to activate. This won't take long. So then you run in here. That droid is permanently shut down. Nothing you can do about it. Oh, the reactor! Start the reactor! So then it cuts to another camera. See, now that door's open. It's not controlled by any other terminal. That's bullcrap. So then this door opens, and this giant fucking droid comes out. Look at that thing! It's huge! It's pretty enormous, actually. So now, guess what? All the fucking turrets are on, and they're enemies. What a shocker, really. Like, all the other turrets were on without the reactor being on, but these had to turn on once I turned the reactor on. What a fucking joke. So you blast the shit out of the, out of the things. Blast them. So we run all the way back. This part's kind of annoying. You just have to run all the way back and there's really nothing to do until you get to the droid room right here. Oh hey, look, it's open. So then, you might have been wondering, well, we can open the shuttle doors now, but we don't have the ignition codes. Well, my friend, that problem is solved because this door opens. You're supposed to remember to come in here, and then this... No, and the foot locker. Foot locker. Shuttle ignition codes! <gasps> Data pad. It just... Yeah, it has ignition codes. <laughs> it just does, trust me. Uh, ooh, I missed some remains. That's what droid remains look like, these little square things. Droid lockout bypass. It's... Look at that thing, it's really... It really smokes now, huh? <laughs> So there's the giant motherfucking droid. He's waiting for us. Oh boy, is he waiting for us. And this is actually a really hard fight, no matter what you do. I've never found... I've actually had... On the Xbox, I had to beat this guy basically through cheating a bunch of times. Or basically lay mines and then run away. And, like, I would stealth out with... Like, Atten was the only one left, and I would stealth, lay mines, and run away. Look at this. His, he has the highest defense ever. It's almost impossible to hit him. Oh my god, I'm hurt. Theodor! Go fight him! I hope I can heal Theodor through a wall. See, look at it. He's taking almost no damage. So you know what I'm gonna do? Throw th three iron grenades at him and then throw sonic grenades. It's really all you can do is range people. Range people, like, just can't hit this guy. Don't ask me why, they just can't. So you just throw a million grenades at him and they do a lot of damage, which is nice. And I killed Beodor with them. That was... oh well. So sorry, Beodor. I have a million grenades. I really can afford to just throw them. Throw the grenade! And one more. Dead. And Splerk! Unfortunately, he has never seen or heard from again. It's just that you never see another droid that awesome. I don't know what happened to the Zerka guy. Who the fuck cares? I really don't care what happened to the Zerka guy. I don't know what happened to him. So, don't, before you leave, don't forget to run in here because there's a lot of good loot in here. And by a lot, I mean a bunch. Like, you can open almost every single box in here and locker. Frags. Mandalorian battle armor. Chemicals. Components, which are always awesome. Parts. I guess I can't loot these guys. I thought I could. Oh my god! We'll be right back after these messages.